Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to discover how to age well, look and feel good for longer and share this with you. And when I'm exploring some of the latest skincare innovations and technologies, I'm aware a lot of them can be costly. But the good news is the interviews and research I've done over the last couple of years have demonstrated that there are plenty of ways to achieve stronger, healthier skin without having to spend a lot of money. So today I'm going to round up my top 10 low cost steps to firmer skin. First on my list of low cost skin saviors is face massage and exercise. Many of the at home skincare devices on the market are designed to boost blood flow to the skin, increasing the supply of oxygen and helping increase your cell productivity. And there's a totally free way we can boost circulation to the skin on our faces and necks, as well as helping tone our muscles. And that's through facial massage and exercise. So in addition to the exercise I do in the gym, I also spend time every other day doing some of the facial exercises I learned on this channel from massage specialist Claire McLean. Particularly in my case, the ones that are designed to strengthen and tone the jawline. And mentioning that isn't just an excuse to cut to some footage of me looking absolutely ridiculous. Smile, keep your mouth closed, smile. Okay, it is. I'll say now, so I don't have to keep repeating myself, that I will link to all the related videos and information mentioned in today's video in the description if you want to find out more on each tip covered. But Claire took us through some face lifting massage techniques that we can use on ourselves alongside a few great movements for lymphatic drainage, all of which are totally free ways we can help lift and tighten our skin. And she showed us how to use a simple, inexpensive, Gua Sha Massage Stone, which has been found to be particularly helpful with blood flow. A small study by the Unit of Circulation Research at the University Hospital of Essen in Germany found a single treatment of Gua Sha Massage caused a fourfold increase in microcirculation at the treated area. And Canadian esthetician Lee Medeiros also told us on this channel how a totally free massage technique involving buffing her neck for up to three minutes a day with a tightly rolled towel soaked in salted water had tightened the loose skin on her neck, taking it from turkey to tone. So that's one you'll want to see if you haven't spotted that video yet. Second on my list of low cost ways to support your skin span is by embracing antioxidants. We're always warned in skincare marketing about free radicals, those incomplete atoms that roam around looking for electrons to complete them. Now, because they're unstable, they react quickly with other substances. That sounds familiar. A buildup of free radicals begins the process known as oxidative stress, which can damage the body's cells. So as it ages, it loses its ability to fight the effects of free radicals as effectively as it once did. This leads to more free radicals, more oxidative stress and more damage to cells, which contributes to the degenerative process of aging. That's why we hear nutritionists encouraging us to eat a diet which is high in antioxidants because they are chemicals that interact with free radicals and neutralize them by donating some of their own electrons. And it's also why eating a healthy, varied diet that's rich in different natural sources of plants, which are full of antioxidants and fiber, is one of the most evidence things we can do to preserve our health and our skin and slow down the aging process. And skincare companies have also been fast to pick up on the anti-aging benefits of antioxidants by creating topical treatments. The question is how effective are antioxidants when applied in a skin cream or serum? Well, vitamin A derived retinoids are certainly well evidenced and we'll come on to them later. But unfortunately, as with many skincare ingredients, we don't have a huge amount of evidence to work with for other antioxidants, including vitamins C and E. However, a 2017 review from researchers at the University of Otago in New Zealand, which I'll link to, summarizes several human studies showing a beneficial effect from topical vitamin C for UV protection, particularly when combined with vitamin E. Another human study showed the use of vitamin C topically for at least three months improved the appearance of both fine and coarse wrinkles on the face and neck, and it's been linked in clinical trials with a reduction in dark spots and improvement in acne too. But there are only a handful of smaller clinical trials that have studied the effects of vitamin C, and more and larger studies are needed to confirm the findings. 
What we know for sure is that ingesting antioxidants is a good idea. And we have some evidence then that they can play a protective role when applied topically too. So I'll list a couple of the better, lower cost options in the description. Third on my list of skin saviors is omega-3. So omega-3 fats are renowned for their health benefits, including helping to lower inflammation. But there are benefits for your skin too. A 2018 review from researchers in Taiwan concluded that omega-3 fatty acids in fish oil can improve skin barrier function, inhibit UV-induced inflammation and hyperpigmentation, improve skin dryness and accelerate wound healing. Omega-3 fatty acids could also reduce the production of inflammatory compounds that contribute to the aging process and taking a supplement is a cost-effective way of harnessing the benefits if you don't eat a lot of fish. Though, if they're anything like the supplements I take, it's not the cost that's hard to swallow, it's the capsule. Personally, I like to include fatty acids in my skincare routine too, with a 2005 study published in the International Journal of Pharmaceutics reporting that topical omega-3 reduced UV sensitivity in skin cells in a lab setting. Other studies have found similar links between topical omega-3 and a reduction in the signs of photoaging. So again, although we're short on larger human trials for using omega-3 fatty acids topically, there is evidence that they are beneficial for skin and there is an abundance of evidence that ingesting sufficient omega-3 is a good thing. I tend to mix both inexpensive skincare with a couple of what I would describe as hero products, which I try to use sparingly. One of them is True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil, precisely because it's so high in both antioxidants and fatty acids. But there are good quality lower cost oils around too that do a similar job to the likes of Augustinus Bader and True Botanicals. And so I'll link to a couple, including one from Pharmacy that has an impressive list of nutrient rich ingredients and plenty of omega 3s to boot. Fourth on the list is collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in our body and is used to make connective tissue, which is why it's so important to the strength of our bones, skin, muscles, and cartilage. But our bodies gradually make less of it as we age. Where have we heard that before? Now it appears through recent studies that hydrolyzed collagen, which are extracted peptides of a lower molecular weight, can be better absorbed by our bodies and therefore has greater potential to replace some of what we lose. A recent Korean study found that after 12 weeks of supplementation with collagen peptides of lower molecular weight, with half of participants told to take just one gram of collagen peptides daily, alongside a placebo group, those taking the supplements had markedly reduced wrinkling. We also have a review paper evaluating the results of 19 eligible, randomized, double-blind and controlled trials exploring oral supplementation with hydrolyzed collagen with a total of 1,125 participants, mainly women aged between 20 and 70 years. The sources of the collagen differed between marine and animal collagen and with do doses between around two to five grams over eight to 12 weeks. But the analysis showed overall favorable results with hydrolyzed collagen supplementation compared with placebo in terms of skin hydration, elasticity, and wrinkles. So you don't need to take large amounts of it and you don't need to splash out on those expensive flavored daily sachets. I buy a 300 gram tub of hydrolyzed collagen powder for 20 pounds or just over $25. And that lasts me six months. So this should be a cheap supplement. Fifth on my list is hyaluronic acid, because while the evidence for going out of our way to apply it to our skin in serums is pretty underwhelming, there is good evidence for ingesting it, and that's why I take a capsule of it every other day. You'll often find hyaluronic acid added to collagen powders too, and it can be sourced naturally in things like bone broth and through other things like root vegetables, which support the production of hyaluronic acid. Human studies have shown significant improvements in skin health and the signs of aging in people taking hyaluronic acid supplements. There are several studies showing hyaluronic acid does make it past the digestive system to our skin, and those controlled studies reported significant decreases in wrinkles compared with placebo groups. And we want to take hyaluronic acid of high molecular weight, which has also been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. So you're getting more than just aesthetic benefits, and it should be inexpensive. My sixth low-cost skin savior is exercise and weight training in particular, because weightlifting has been shown to have enormous whole body benefits with muscle strength being a major contributor to health, lifespan, 
and skin span. Researchers in Japan reported that while both aerobic and resistance exercise have a positive impact on skin elasticity, resistance training in particular increases dermal thickness. Having thicker skin means fewer wrinkles and less sagging, improved skin texture and moisture, and it makes the skin less susceptible to external pollutants and UV radiation. The researchers found resistance exercise caused the skin to behave more youthfully at a cellular level, including increased collagen production. And the most pronounced effects were seen in people who lifted weights. So the theory is that weight training alters the circulating levels of cell signaling molecules and hormones, delivering those anti-aging benefits. Number seven on my list is sunscreen. Now, before you roll your eyes and say, I've heard this a thousand times, what I'm about to share may be new information because while pretty much everyone knows sunscreen helps prevent sunburn and decreases the risk of skin cancer, it's not always regarded as the most effective over-the-counter product to protect and even enhance the appearance of our skin. A 2016 study published in the Dermatologic Surgery Journal found with just a daily application of moisturiser with SPF 30, all of the 32 participants saw improvements of 52% in mottled pigmentation or sunspots, 40% in skin texture and 41% in skin clarity after a year of use. Why? Well, the dermatologists in this study suggested that by preventing the continual accumulation of photo damage, we give the skin a chance to heal and strengthen on its own. The Skin Care Foundation claims around 90% of all visible damage to our skin is caused by photoaging. That's damage caused by unprotected exposure to UV light, and there is such a great range of lower cost sunscreens out there. It's a no brainer as far as I'm concerned. And if you want to avoid chemical sunscreens, you can choose a mineral one. And I will link to a couple of options in the description. At eight, I've included retinoids, which are still considered to be the front line of anti-aging skincare. And as vitamin A derivatives also act as antioxidants. And there's been a movement towards encouraging consumers to build up their retinoid use to the strongest concentrations your skin can tolerate at a daily frequency, which can be pricey and may actually be at the expense of your skin health too, if you don't find the right balance and frequency for you. So if you're looking for a lower cost gentle alternative, I've mentioned a few times on the channel that I switched last year from retinoic acid or tretinoin to a retinaldehyde serum. So retinals are the next conversion step down from retinoic acid. And they're a little gentler on the skin while still being effective in my view at smoothing fine lines and clearing your skin. And the good news is it's also cheaply available. I use one from Geek and Gorgeous every other night, which also helps with the cost. And it's just 17 pounds or $20 for 30 milliliters of their highest strength A-Game 10, which the makers compared to high strength retinol of around 1%. It's the cheapest retinal that I'm aware of at that strength, but I'm prepared to be corrected on that in the comments if you find something of a similar strength, which is cheaper. Number nine on my list is sleep. And we've heard people say that they need to catch their beauty sleep. And it turns out they're actually right. A good night's sleep for adults is generally considered to be at least seven hours. A lack of sleep has been linked in studies with reduced skin hydration and elasticity. And because we know sleep is when the body has the most opportunity to renew and repair itself, Cutting sleep short gives it less of a chance to do that, including our skin cells. The 10th and final tip on my list is to scale back on products so you're sticking to a capsule skincare routine that prioritizes quality over quantity. We don't have to use actives every single day to get the benefits, so you can stretch things out a little longer by using slightly smaller amounts or slightly less often. Monitor your skin closely and think about minimums rather than maximums. We also don't need harsh face washes and cleansers. I use a very small amount of face balm to wash the makeup off my face at night and then just wash my face with water in the mornings, for instance, and there's a saving right there. I use a couple of drops of oil under my sunscreen in the morning, and so I don't need a moisturizer in addition to that. So that's another saving. So spending strategically and you know, trying to consider how much of a product you can use to deliver the benefits without tipping into excessive use and cost. Now, I've not mentioned hormones in this video deliberately, really, because it's more of a health issue to be discussed with your doctor. But if you want to find out more about the link between the fall in estrogen during our menopause years and skin aging, 
then I'll share related content in the description below because that's obviously a major factor too alongside diet and lifestyle. Needless to say, smoking ages skin as does drinking too much alcohol, but I think these things are widely known and cutting back on both would of course save a significant amount of money. While the long-term effects of vaping are still being studied, dermatologists have warned the chemicals produced by e-cigarettes can contribute to premature aging of the skin. So those are my lower cost ways of supporting our long-term skin health. What do you think of these tips? Did I cover everything? Probably not. What do you do or what would you recommend for keeping your skin healthy for longer? That doesn't cost a lot of money. You'll find more advice around how to age well on my website, honest.scott. And if you scroll down to the bottom of any page, there's a form where you can sign up for my monthly newsletter. If you haven't already, then by hitting subscribe alongside the notification bell, you'll see my latest content on YouTube as soon as it comes out. And you can keep up with me too on Instagram at honestclaire. For now, thanks for being here today and I'll see you next time.